Hello everybody, this is HD Shaves here. We're back on the video and very excited to share um, a few new products with you today. So the first one is this beautiful razor on loan from a friend of the channel. This is the Tetalus Essence Razor. So um, this is made in Switzerland. The scales are aluminum um, anodized and the actual blade part is um, stainless steel. And um, it is probably the most premium um, kind of uh, razor like this out there where you can use different kinds of um, disposable blades, if you will. So you can use um, Artist Club uh, razors, which at the moment I have a, a feather soft guard blade in there, but you can also use injector blades and half DE blades also. Um, the blade is held in by, there's a magnet on the inside and you sort of take off one side, put the blade in, and then reinstall it. Um, on the uh, tang here of the razor, it's got uh, really nice um, jimping. Uh, I really can feel the grip here, um, and I do enjoy that. It's got kind of this longer tail. Um, I've been calling it the monkey tail. And um, anyway, uh, this razor um, has shaved me very well uh, the past maybe week and a half. And um, in terms of the cutting sensation, I think it's really excellent. There's some other things about the razor that maybe I'm not so crazy about, but in terms of the actual cutting feeling, I really enjoy this razor. So more on that once we get to it. For the brush, well, let's start with the soap. Uh, we're gonna be using Talbot Shaving Coles Pond. This is kind of an older release. Um, this was a gift uh, from, from a kind viewer of the channel. Thank you very much if you're watching. This is in the V2 soap base. And this kind of has a pine, fur, kind of wintry sort of scent. Um, we've got a little bit, um, let's say, average spring weather here today, so it's uh, not going to be too bad to use Cole's Pond. And I look forward to sharing that with you all. And then finally, for the brush, um, another gift from the same person who gifted the soap. This is a Fader Premium Bore uh, brush. So I talked about this brush, um, maybe that was a year or two ago, I kind of forget, I did a review of this very brush and talked about some of the quality control issues they had in the past with it. Um, and so there's a reason why this is now um, discontinued. So um, my friend decided to get it to me anyway, and um, well, I'm just reminded how soft and enjoyable this knot is. I, I believe it's a 27 millimeter knot and it's not too dense, it's not set too low. Um, so sort of a typical bore in that way, but just very soft and the 27 millimeter diameter is nice. So let's go ahead and start loading the soap. Um, we've had extremely strange weather. Um, for reference, today is Friday and Monday we had light snow. <laughs> On yesterday, Thursday, we had, it was maybe 70 degrees, sunny, beautiful. Today we're back down to about 50 and it's rainy. And then tomorrow we're supposed to get up to maybe at least 75, maybe 80 um, and sunny. So very strange weather. People are really <laughs> starting to lose their patience around here. Um, and um, that's just how it is kind of every year here. But this year it seemed um, especially strange. So, um, yeah, it's like I, I kind of pick my scent of the day kind of dependent on whatever the weather is outside um, because it is changing so much you can't just rely on using the same scent um, every day of the week if you're trying to, you know, quote, match the weather, right? Okay, we've got a ton of soap loaded on here. Let's get some warm water on the face and then let's get to making a lather. All right, here we go. So again, this is the V2 base from Talbot. I've used this base before, found it to be pretty nice. Mm. Soap does not taste good. And uh, yeah, the other one that I have in V2 is the Marlowe, Marlowe Wood scent. Always forget how to say that, but that's a very nice, again, kind of pine, woodsy, vetiver scent. And um, I do quite enjoy this base. It has kind of a, 
it's it's got a little bit more structure maybe than the average um, American artisan soap, but it doesn't sacrifice the kind of density either. So it has some nice kind of physical properties. Um, I kind of forget how, so I think I've used the soap once since it arrived. And, the, you know, the actual performance, uh, of course, is good, um, but the main things that stick out to me is just how it differs in appearance, which doesn't necessarily mean anything, but it's just something to note. But yeah, it's a pretty strong scent, I would say, even though this is probably a couple years old now. Um, sort of a sweet pine scent. It's not earthy or anything. Kind of like, I would say, that that, that, that other one I mentioned, um, Marlowe Wood. That one's a little more earthy, a little more dank, maybe. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to keep adding water, and I'll bring you back in when I'm about to start my first pass with the Tetalus. Unlike with other bore knots, this one just picks up a ton of soap and um, definitely didn't need to load that much. But as somebody says, if you don't overload, then would it really be a YouTube type face lather? Um, I kind of cracked me up when I read that the other day. So here we go with the Titleist Essence. Again, we're using a feather soft guard blade. And I'm working off um, two days of growth. In my limited um, open blade uh, experience, this has felt um, just very smooth and comfortable in use compared to something like the Feather DX, which I still use, um, but I've gotten a little bit distracted. by other razors that people have been sending me to try, which of course I always appreciate. Woo. Got, a, got a little soap up in the nose, so this is really uh, quite the experience. Um, again, the cutting sensation is very nice. Um, Actual weight of this razor is not very much. I think it's 58 grams. But this, um, these scales are quite big. I mean, um, it's not that they're too heavy, but um, I do kind of wish they were a little bit smaller. Um, switching hands now. And so I'm just trying to shave as flat as possible. Um, and I have heard some people talk about the Tang part two being a little bit too long. I don't mind that, and I do like the monkey tail, at least for now. Um, I 
Um, I say for now about the tail because I'm going to be using a razor next week that has a much shorter kind of tail. Um, and, you know, I got pretty big hands, so you'd think that I would prefer a longer tang, longer tail, but like with safety razors, I like short handles like, you know, vintage uh, Gillette type handles that are maybe three inches long. And so maybe it's just one of those things where my inexperience um, with these razors, basically I just don't know what I actually like yet. Okay, first pass complete. Felt pretty nice. I was doing a lot of buffing there. Um, I feel very comfortable with this razor and feel like it's pretty safe. Um, so I'm going to rinse and come back. We're just going to do two passes today. So this next one's going to be um, south to north against the grain mostly. So be right back. Okay, here's pass number two. Okay, we're going to do our second and final pass against the grain. Um, I've got this kind of down to a pattern that I like. Um, I start with my right hand kind of on the left side, going under the neck. Just not trying to do any pushing with the razor. Just trying to let it move easily. And then here I like to go in a little bit. And then there you go. So now I'll switch sides and do left on the right. And I go over here. Sometimes on this side I have a tendency to come in too hot of an angle, so I try to be mindful of that. Okay, and then now here, go back to the right. Get that last part. And then here I'll switch and go kind of across. And then do the mustache. And then here I like to use, kind of grab the razor by two hands. Just clean up under the nose. And then here I kind of do the same thing. Of course, you don't have to do it this way, but I just find that is the most kind of satisfying way to get those little hairs here and here. So now, feel around, see where I missed. Kind of feels like the usual spots. Up 
همین جا And that is a pretty good shave. Uh, is it perfectly BBS? Of course not, but for two passes, um, really nice shave. And um, yeah, uh, good to shave with the Tetalus. So I'm gonna do my final rinse and then come back and talk to you over post shave. Off camera, we use a little Zingari unscented balm. Again, as these temperatures warm up, I like to use a little bit of a thinner balm compared to like the Declaration Grooming Liniment that I rely on in the really frigid months. But uh, to do a final recap, again, the Tetalus Essence Razor, um, due to the price, I probably won't be picking one of these up anytime soon. Uh, it's made in Switzerland, or at least designed in Switzerland, and so I certainly understand the price on it. But I'm going to be trying some other razors that are a bit more affordable here in the future, and so I'll maybe revisit that one um, after I've tried a few more. We use Talbot Shaving Coles Pond, nice pine fur sort of scent. And then the Thater Premium Boar just made a ton of lather super easily, which is something I always heard about the better boars, you know, is that while they're soft after being broken in, there's also something about that boar, those boar bristles being able to pick up soap in a very kind of effective way. Um, and so I definitely experienced that today. Right, well, thank you so much if you've made it this far in the video. Um, this has been a nice shave, and uh, this is HG Shaves. Take care. We'll see you again next time. Goodbye.